grab some waters. All right, so forgot my waters. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> uh, I forgot my waters, so I, I need those to survive. But what we're going to do, and I meant to start this like this, what, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the technology get, uh, technology niche. This is actually one that is near and dear to my heart for a number of reasons. Uh, we're going to do a few things today. So if you are interested in learning on how to start a successful online business in the technology niche, make sure that you um, you like comment, subscribe, follow, do all of that good stuff because I've got a good video. This actually isn't hooked up to anything. Uh, one recommendation that I have for Rode is to put some sort of charging station right at the bottom here so that I don't have to disconnect this all the time. But I've got a pretty cool uh, video. I brought a ton of props here. I've got, as you can see here, I've got, this is actually a Waze camera. This is a $25 camera, could bring you a full-time income. This right here is a PlayStation 5 controller. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 controllers can bring you a full-time income. Uh, we've got, uh, this is a Canon Rebel T6. This is an older camera, but this camera could bring you a full-time income. This is my wife's old uh, Apple iPhone from some long time ago. Um, and this is a Roku remote. All of these are in the technology niche and all of these are different opportunities to help you generate a full-time income. So what we're going to do today is we are going to not only just talk about a niche, I'm cheering for you, man. I'm starting my automation YouTube channel because of you. So I've got a comment over on my YouTube channel. I'm going to put this down real quick. Uh, thank you for the kind words. This person over here is starting his automation YouTube channel because of me. I appreciate the kind words and I'm glad I'm able to help you out today. But what we're going to do first is we are going to pick a subtopic because technology is large and it can mean a bunch of different things to a bunch of different people. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick subtopics or sub niches. Now, hint, these are different subtopics and sub niches that you can potentially get into. Now, the cool thing is, is people are the first complaint someone's going to say is technology is oversaturated. I guarantee you that there's going there's a new opportunity every single year, if not every six months, to get into technology. Uh, how often does Apple release a new device? Uh, for example, the Mac Studio, which I'm on back order and wait list for, they just came out with this thing um, six months ago, right? So six months ago, there was no such thing as Mac Studio. In fact, if you look at Google Trends, and I'm getting into, into the weeds a little bit, but if you look at Google Trends and you typed in Mac Studio, the search result would be very little. But now everybody's talking about um, Mac Studio, because that's a thing that they want. Um, before, six months ago, if you typed in Mac Studio, it would actually come back to a makeup product, and nobody even knew Apple was going to come out with that thing. So just a little bit tidbit, if you think that uh, technology is oversaturated, you're 100% wrong. There's new opportunities every single day. And in fact, people are still looking up information on this old smartphone, and so you can create content on the old smartphone as well. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pick a subtopic, and within the subtopic, we probably want to niche down just a little bit as well. I'm going to help you with that. Next, we're going to talk about different affiliate programs because there are tons of different affiliate programs that you can get into. We're going to break down email marketing. Email marketing consists of four separate parts. That's going to be your key to success as an affiliate marketer. A lot of people don't do email marketing and they're losing out on probably 90% of the potential return on investment. Now, I've got to use these tricky words because uh, TikTok is very finicky about words that you say. Uh, we're going to break down the various components of email marketing. We're going to talk about how and where to get traffic. Traffic is abundant. It's almost infinite, but it's abundant. Uh, and we'll, I'll define what traffic means because that's just a cute word for you know where you're going to create content. We're going to do keyword research, which is uh, how we're going to get in front of our target audience. And then we're going to talk about creating content. So I'm excited for this. My first passion, my first love is in the technology space. Um, ask my wife anything, anytime something new comes out. I'm one of the first ones to buy it, an early adopter. Um, I got PlayStation 5 here, as I mentioned. Uh, this is the Rode wireless microphone that you see a lot of the TikTokers use. Um, this is an older camera that I used to do to create content. I've got an iPad Pro here. I'm working on an older model of a uh, Mac, 
um, an iMac Mini. So uh, we're all about technology in this household and in this family. So let's talk about what you need to do first. first. First, first, first. First thing that we want to do is you want to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, follow, do all of that good stuff. Is that Rocky that I see on on TikTok? Let me know if that's you, Rocky. Anyway, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow, do all of that good stuff. Also check out, I've got a 50% discount that will only be live during this live. Go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash live to receive 50% discount on all of my best training. You'll also get to speak with me. Rocky, how's it going? I haven't seen Rocky in a long time. Um, we used to talk a lot last summer, but uh, not so much this summer. Um, how's the business done in San Antonio? Anyway, if you are looking to um, have a little bit more input, you want to learn a little bit more knowledge about seeing a return on your investment online, the best way right now is that 50% discount at alstongodbolt.com. Hey, LinkedIn user, it says, how's it going, Al? I'm not sure who that is. It just says LinkedIn user, but thank you for joining me. So we are live uh, on TikTok, on YouTube, Facebook page, the personal page, Facebook business page, and Facebook group. We're also live on LinkedIn and Twitter. So we're everywhere that you want to be. Thank you guys for checking in wherever you guys are. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to pick a subtopic. Technology is one of the big four. You'll often hear about health, wealth, relationships, but technology is also, Rod, how's it going, Rod? Um, um, Rod, I think I play basketball with Rod. Um, technology is is that fourth one that everybody talks about. It's a huge niche. niche. There's a lot of money in it, and there's a lot of opportunity in it as well. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about subtopics, sub niches. Uh, PlayStation 5 is a sub niche. Actually, video games is a sub niche, and then PlayStation 5 is a sub niche of that sub niche. Uh, we can also look at cameras, okay? Um, cameras for YouTubers, cameras for TikTokers, best cameras for beginners. Uh, we could even talk about different types of photography, wedding photography, drone photography. Uh, we could talk about um, all sorts of different photography subtopics here as well. So that is a sub niche. We also have this microphone here. In fact, I've got two microphones in front of me. I've got the um, the blue Yeti microphone and I've got this wireless microphone. This is all subtopics that you can get into. Uh, we also have this um, Waze camera. This is a home security camera, indoor home security camera. In fact, my first blog and YouTube channel are in um, security cameras. If you go to YouTube after this video, of course, type in the security camera guy. That's my first channel. Uh, one of the videos that I have over there has over 250,000 views from three years ago, and it's talking about home security cameras. So uh, just to kind of tell you how I know what I'm talking about directly and indirectly, I have earned a return on investment in a number of niches. My first three niches were not telling people how to um, make money online. In fact, I was never confident about telling people how to make money online until I was able to do it in all of these other niches. Um, my first, as I mentioned, my first blog was in security cameras. My first YouTube channel in security cameras. What else? Um, I have a blog about teaching people how to start a YouTube channel, about all sorts of stuff. I didn't feel comfortable, confident telling people how to generate a return on their investment with making money until, you know, I'd actually done it successfully myself. I'm unlike a lot of people that you'll see on this app. Anyway, if we continue on, the first step is to pick a subtopic. If you create content in all of these different areas, you are going to run into problems because you're creating too general of topics. Okay. Step number two is to go out and find affiliate programs. Yes, I am talking about affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing simply is connecting a solution to a problem. That's all affiliate marketing is. Um, for example, I went on the internet and I looked up the best wireless microphones for YouTubers and everybody recommended this wireless mic. And what they did is they put the link to Amazon in the description of their content. As you can see here, this is that wireless mic that I'm talking about. And when I clicked on that, usually it was a, an affiliate link for Amazon. When I clicked on it and purchased, someone earned a commission. And what I did, and just to kind of give you a little insight on, onto how this worked, first I typed in best wireless microphone for a YouTuber. Then I saw that people were putting together a list of five or six of different microphones. And then I decided, okay, I think I'm going to go with the Rode microphone. And then I said, okay, what are some of the competitors out there? I typed in Rode, wire, Rode go to wireless microphone versus. So I'm just comparing the two and it gave me a list. It 
it, it showed me the other competitors out there. I looked at the price. I looked at the what customers were saying, the reviews, and then I decided to go with this one. That is literally what affiliate marketing is. And there are thousands of affiliate programs out there. Um, so what I would recommend that you do, the next step is to uh, find five to 10 different affiliate programs. The reason why we're looking at five to 10 different affiliate programs is because we are going to promote all of these things with email marketing. Email marketing is going to be your key to success. Um, and I feel like if you're not doing email marketing, you're not quite a real business owner. <clears throat> and simply because you're missing out on so much more opportunity by not doing email marketing. Now, email marketing consists of four separate but equal parts, and we'll talk about those more in depth. Um, lead magnet, landing page, autoresponder, broadcast emails, and then um, that's email marketing. So let's go back up to affiliate programs. Now, there are tons of different affiliate programs in the technology space. Most people will just go the easy route and they will go be an affiliate for Amazon. Amazon is fine. Amazon keeps cutting their commission, so it's not great, but it will work. Uh, you can also be an affiliate for Best Buy and B&H Photo. What I'd recommend that you do in um, DJI, I think that's the drone photography um, niche. But what I recommend that you do is once you figure out which sub niche that you're going to get into, go out and find the affiliate programs. For example, GameStop has an affiliate program. Um, who else has an affiliate program? I think Ring has an affiliate program. Um, there are tons of affiliate programs out there and they may actually pay better than Amazon. So you, you're not beholden. You don't have to use Amazon if you don't want to. There are tons of opportunities out there. So you can Google um, camera affiliate programs. You can type in best affiliate programs. You can type in something like reoccurring affiliate programs. There are tons of options and opportunities out there. And so pick five to 10. Make sure they're all within your niche. As I mentioned, GameStop has one. There are other ones. Let me just do a quick search because there are tons of affiliate programs, uh, gaming affiliate programs. What you'd want to do too is think about everything that is included within the niche. Most people, if they're promoting video games, for example, they're only going to think about the video game and they're going to think about uh, maybe the controller and the games that are coming out. However, you could promote gaming chairs. This chair that I'm sitting in right now is a gaming chair. You could promote... Um, gaming laptops, obviously, gaming desks, gaming lights, you know, the LED lights. There are so many other things that you could promote as an affiliate in the gaming space that <clears throat> you could see a very good return on investment. Now, you want to make sure that you are thinking about everything that your target audience wants and needs. They're going to want more than just the PlayStation 5 controller and the PlayStation 5 console and the new Madden that comes out this week. They're going to want other things. They're going to want to be comfortable. Maybe they're going to want a headset. Um, maybe they're going to want a um, subscription to play online. But I'm just going to uh, click on this real quick. 29 best gaming affiliate programmer affiliate programs by Authority Hacker. I'm not going to go through all of these. Alienware, Razer, NVIDIA. That's actually a um, for the graphics cards. They were in very high demand over the last few years. Microsoft, Logitech. And most of these are going to have better payouts, commission payouts than Amazon. So let's talk about affiliate marketing just a moment. I'm kind of bouncing around, but I want to make sure that I get all the information out so that you could go out and take action. With affiliate marketing, this is how it works. You apply to join an affiliate program. Once you're accepted, they're going to give you a unique URL, what's called an, an affiliate link. And you're going to take that affiliate link and you're going to place it in strategic locations. You're not just going to spam that thing out. You're not going to send it to your friends and hope that they buy. You're not going to post it in random forms because people that do that, they don't make any money. You have to be strategic about where you're placing it. You have to place it in places that people are going to be interested. And we're actually going to hide our affiliate link behind our email uh, when we send out our email. So um, just a, a heads up when it comes to affiliate marketing. There's also things that you want to be aware of, something called like an, a, an affiliate cookie or a cookie window. Um, that's kind of that next level of affiliate marketing. Once you get more serious and get into it, those are things you're going to want to be aware of. But <clears throat> to get started, five to 10 different affiliate programs. Um, make that make a note of that so that you can start the next step, which is email marketing. Guys, if you are getting value out of this video so far, be sure to give it a like, uh, follow, comment, share, do all of that good stuff. And don't forget about that 50% discount that I am currently running. Ooh, 
That 50% discount um, will allow you to work more closely with me and I can answer your direct questions in near real time. So if that is something that you're interested in, I might even start a Discord just to answer questions. Um, and I might tuck that into there so that there's some exclusivity. Anyway, if that is something that you're interested in, go ahead and go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash live. It's only going to be available while I'm live. So take advantage of that opportunity. Now, getting back over to our thing, we're, we're talking about email marketing. Now, email marketing, as I, as I mentioned, consists of a lead magnet, a landing page, autoresponder, and broadcast emails. A lead magnet is something that we are going to give away to our target audience in exchange for their email address. That lead magnet can be a course, an ebook, a guide, a cheat sheet. Um, it could be anything that our target audience deems valuable. For example, a good lead magnet that we could give away is a step by step guide on how to beat the final boss in Mortal Kombat. Uh, people that are interested in the gaming niche, that are interested in playing, um, Mortal Kombat is they're going to buy that they're going to be they're going to want that and so they're going to give you their email address if we're looking at microphones we could give away a free guide on how to configure your microphone correctly so that it's not too high or not too low um, if we were in the camera niche we could give away something like uh, the correct camera settings for every type of situation that's going to be something that people that are buying a camera or interested in a camera, they're going to want to know. And then if we look at something like a security camera, we could give away a gift on 10 places to put your security camera or what the experts aren't teaching you about home security or how thieves break into your home in 10 minutes. We can give all of that away and people uh, that are interested in these various niches are going to be interested in those things. So you, whatever it is that you give away, you want to make sure that it has some sort of value. And it's something that people actually want. If we are in the video game niche, if we're in this niche, but we're talking about microphones, 98% of the population isn't going to care. The people that are interested in these microphones probably aren't interested in the gaming. There's going to be some overlap, but not nearly enough for you to see a return on your investment. And so that's what a lead magnet is. Again, it can be a training, a, like a mini training. It can be an ebook. It can be a guide. It can be a PDF, a cheat sheet. doesn't really matter. Now, when it comes to a lead magnet, you can either create it yourself. You can hire someone to do it for you over on Upwork or Fiverr or People Per Hour, or you can use what's called private label rights. Private label rights products are products that you buy um, and you buy them for like five to ten dollars, and then you have the rights to give them away or sell them, do whatever you want with them. So, those are three ways that you can get a lead magnet. <clears throat> After a lead magnet, we are going to build a landing page. Now, our landing page will actually consist of five parts. Now, guys, let me know if this is making sense. If I'm talking too fast, which usually I am, if I'm skipping a step, if something just doesn't connect, let me know because this is designed to help you get up and running starting an online business. Now, what I'm telling you can apply to any niche. And I actually couldn't find the magazines that I was talking about yesterday. Anyway, um, a landing page consists of five parts, right? It consists of a headline, a subheadline, an input box for their name, an input box for their email, and a submit button. Now, our headline is basically going to reiterate what our lead magnet is. If our lead, ma lead magnet is... Um, step-by-step -step guide on how to beat the final boss in Mortal Kombat, that's what our headline is going to say. Uh, free training reveals step-by-step -step guide or complete guide to beating the final boss in Mortal Kombat. Or if we're talking about this microphone here, we could actually give away um, a complete guide to setting up. The, the, the headline is going to say step-by-step um, -step guide on the perfect settings for your Rode Wireless 2 microphone. So when you do that, people are going to say, okay, that's what I want. They're going to enter in their name and their email, and they click submit. Now, two things are going to happen once they click submit. One, they're going to get added to our mailing list, and we can email them every single day forever uh, using an autoresponder, and we can actually send them to a thank you page. On that thank you page, we can promote a product like this Rode Wireless 2. We could say click here to, to get your your Rode Wireless 2 microphone. Um, or we can create a short little video saying, thank you for entering in your name and your email address. Click the button below for my recommended products or something like that. Both ways work. It really depends on what you're promoting and how you're going about it. Um, let me just make sure. Oh, 
Next step, after we've talked about the landing page, let's talk about the autoresponder. The autoresponder is um, something that you're going to set up ahead of time, which sends out emails automatically on your behalf. So basically what that means is if someone were to sign up today at 12.33 p.m., they're going to be added to our autoresponder. Our mailing list is connected to our autoresponder, and our autoresponder is going to send out emails every single day at the exact same time that they signed up. Now, the purpose of the emails in our autoresponder is to get them to click and uh, make a purchase so that we can actually start generating some passive income. And then what happens is we can set up our autoresponder to talk about pain points and problems and solutions. For example, if we are in the microphone, uh, let's say we're in the YouTuber niche, right? We want to help brand new YouTubers. We could send out an email after our, our welcome email, giving them the thing that we promised them. We could send out a day one email that says five things you didn't know about your a microphone or um, five biggest mistakes all, all new YouTubers make. And one of those mistakes could be uh, not having good audio. We can send that out. So we can send that out and we can start generating a return on our investment. And it's really as easy as that. Think about the problems that your target audience has, and then you can actually provide the solution, which is the, the microphones. Uh, we can send out, we can send up, we could set up another um, autoresponder email about this microphone talking about um, why you're not getting as many subscribers on your YouTube channel. Um, I checked Instagram and I didn't see anything. Um, I told you, I don't do Instagram at all. I'm on Instagram for about five minutes per day. And that's to upload video. So I absolutely don't do Instagram. Maybe you sent me a message. Maybe you didn't. I don't know how to find it. Um, Sandro says, check Instagram. I don't know how to do that. Um, anyway, that, that's my, my boomer in me. I rail against Instagram. Uh, so those are autoresponder emails. The next step are broadcast emails. These are one-off emails that I send out when I have new information. If I am, for example, um, if I've got a new YouTube video out or if I've got a new TikTok video out that I want to send traffic to, I am going to send out a broadcast email saying, hey, check out this brand new video. It can help you do something, okay? And so those are the four components of email marketing. Now, you should be able to start email marketing for free. Email marketing... Um, email marketing can be done for free using Aweber or GetResponse. So there's no reason why you should you aren't doing email marketing today. Um, email marketing is going to be your true key to success. I told the story yesterday, and it's apropos of why email marketing is so important. Um, one of the one of my clients, one of the people that I work with, asked me, "Hey, Alston, I'm doing Bing ads." do I really need to do email marketing? And I said, well, let's, let, yes, A, you need to do email marketing, but B, how many emails did I send you before you decided to partner with me? And he said, well, he did a search. And then he said, well, I've got emails from you from 2022. I started working with him back in late June of 20. No, I, let me back up here. Um, he, he said, hey, I've got emails from you from as far back as 2000 and 2000, 20, 2000, 2000. What year are we in? We're in 2022. So basically, the moral of the story is, hi from uh, Stephen. I think Stephen's one of the guys that shows up to all of my live streams. Um, basically, the moral of the story is, I've been emailing him basically every day for two years, and he finally decided to hop on two years later. Okay? So everybody should be doing email marketing. There's literally no excuse not to be doing it. Um, after we talked about email marketing, the next step is to decide where you're going to create your content. People call this traffic. If you ever hear the word, word traffic, it basically means where you're going to create content. Now, one thing that you have to remember is everywhere works. If you decide to create content on TikTok, there are a million people on TikTok. If you decide to be on YouTube or blogging or Instagram, there are literally millions of people at each one of these stops. So don't get crazy about trying to find the perfect traffic source. What's more important is you want to find the perfect traffic source for you, things that work out for you, okay? Not everybody wants to be TikTok famous, and that's okay. Not everybody wants to start a blog, and that's fine too. Any traffic source can work. Heck, you could go find forums and create content on forums and... Um, and find and, and find your people and, and start seeing a return on investment. 
So what you want to do, spend five or 10 minutes. Where do I want to create content? If I want to do on TikTok, great. Research what people are doing on TikTok. Research how people are getting success on TikTok and you are going to replicate it, but improve it. Okay. And so it's easy as that. You want to spend 10 minutes thinking about where you want to create content. Again, TikTok works, YouTube, blogging, Instagram, all of this works. Okay. Um, the next step is keyword research. Now, keyword research is simply just figuring out what people want to know. You're, you're figuring out the questions that people are asking. People are basically asking the same questions. They're just asking them in different ways. And there are a few ways that you can do keyword research for free. Um, you can look at competitor websites. So you can go to like uh, techradar.com and look and see what type of content they're talking about. You can also look at competitor YouTube channels. You can type in your, whoops, sorry about that. You can type in Rode Wireless Microphone 2 and then look at all of the YouTubers and YouTube channels that are talking about this thing. And then you can write those down as your competition. You can also look at a keyword research tool like Ahrefs. That's a, that's a paid keyword research tool. It's one of my favorite. You can also look at TikTok accounts and you can look at answerthepublic.com. Um, answerthepublic.com is free. And you're just going to go to answer the public like that. And then you're going to type in something like um, Rode Go Wireless Microphone 2 or however. Well, I don't remember the exact format, but let me see here. It's Rode Go to Wireless Microphone. I think that's the order. But whatever it is, you can type that right into answerthepublic.com and it's going to give you a bunch of results where you can um Get an idea of the type of content that you can create. Now, don't make this mistake. I made this mistake. A lot of people make this mistake. They just rely heavily on answerthepublic.com. When in reality, literally millions of people have already picked through those keywords. And so you want to use that as inspiration for more, better, different keywords. Let me just do this. Um, go, is it go to, go uh, road or this is going to bug me road okay road wireless go to so i'm just going to copy this and put it right into a hrefs and we're going to or excuse me i'm going to put it into answer the public and i'm going to see what pops up and this could be a basis of where you start creating content so if we scroll down here let's see here it does not look like oh here we go so these are things that popped up just on answer the public how to pair Rode Wireless Go 2. So that's a great video that you could create. Um, how to connect Rode Wireless Go 2 to iPhone. These are all good videos that you could create, and this is based on a product. Now, you could do it with any of the products that I've listed so far. Uh, Rode Wireless Go 2 Review. Go Wireless. Rode Wireless Go 2 Price. These are all things that you could type in, and you could create content here, and you could start getting traffic. Um, another good one is, um, I want to look at the verses, uh, how to find best product for affiliate marketing. Um, it really all depends what, what's your niche. Any product can work. Any service can work. If there are people buying it and selling it online, it can work. So versus good one, um, road wireless go to versus DJI Mike road wireless go to versus, um, Hollyland Lark 150. The, the hard part when people ask me that question is, what, what's the best product? I, I can't answer that question simply because it really all depends on what niche you're in. I could tell you that this iPhone is the best product. I could tell you that a speedboat on from, from uh, Dick's Sporting Goods is going to be the best product. It really all depends. You can't answer that question. If, if someone tells you the best product to promote, they're lying to you. OK, there's absolutely no such thing as the best product to promote because it depends on your niche. It depends on the keywords that you're creating. It depends on the products that you're selling. So if if someone gives you an answer to that, I, I would run away. If you had to start from zero and how and where you build audience, can you explain step by step? If I had to start from from zero, I would find a product. For example, start with this road wireless go to um, then I would start trying to figure out what people are asking. And, and like I showed you, or I'm, like I'm explaining, is on Answer the Public, it's telling you exactly what people are asking. People are asking about, can you pair this to your iPhone? The answer is yes. You could create a step-by-step -step guide showing them how to connect it to the iPhone. And then you can offer a lead magnet with all of the different use cases 
for this this um, this microphone, and then you can promote the microphone. What I would do is I would actually make it a step up, take a step up, and maybe create content about um, the equipment that YouTubers need. For example, I could promote cameras and I could promote microphones and computer equipment. Um, that would be a, a good way to go. And I'd create that content on TikTok and YouTube. I'd put the same content on both TikTok and YouTube. Um, but any niche can work. It doesn't matter what niche you want to get into. Every single niche can work. The biggest, mis the biggest misconception out there is that you have to do wealth and you have to promote high ticket products. Low ticket products work just fine if you know what you're doing. People will tell you that low ticket products don't work because they're not doing email marketing and they're just sending people to a landing page. If you understand what the customer wants and needs, you can market to them forever through your um, through email marketing. In fact, you can even ask them, what are what challenges are you going through? And they're going to tell you, then you can find a product to solve that problem. And then you can generate a return on investment. For example, there might be a course out there that we could um, promote teaching people how to properly use this microphone. If you're not collecting e emails for email marketing, you'll never have that opportunity to promote that course. So you really have to understand the marketing, the wants, the needs, and the desires of your target audience. Anyway, if we keep going, uh, we we're, we've just completed keyword research, and um, Answer the Public can work very well for you. The only drawback to Answer the Public is you are only allowed two searches per 24 hours, okay? If this is helping you, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, follow, do all of that good stuff, and don't forget about the, uh, I believe it's a 50% discount that I'm running currently, if you want to work with me a little bit more intimately, obviously there's no pressure. If you watch this all the way through and you watch it maybe slow down a little bit, you have all the tools that you need to be successful. Oftentimes people need help with the implementation and that's where I come in. They have questions, they want to bounce stuff off of me and that's where I come in. So again, all of my content, is Facebook group still a good thing to find people? Yes, like I just mentioned, there are literally millions of people. I checked it and it's a full of scam. Um, you need to create your own Facebook group. As I mentioned, all of my content is designed to answer and help you start a business. Oftentimes people want to work with me because they need help with the implementation and you can receive a 50% discount only available on this live stream. Now, the next step, now that we've done all of the back work, we've set all of this up, is just to go out and create content. And we're going to create content to solve people's problems, Okay. And then once we answer their questions, we're going to link them to our landing page, collect their email address, and then that's when we can start seeing a return on investment. So what I've done over the last few days, I've put together this handy little chart here to help me explain the types of content to create. So at the very top here, these faceless people, they're all happy. They don't know that they have a problem. I'll use my instance for it. I'll use my, my use case as an example. Up here, until about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, I was happy. I was satisfied with, with my current um, technology setup. And next thing you know, my computer upstairs stops recording the audio when I create YouTube videos. So if you've seen my YouTube videos and you wonder why I'm doing them down here now, it's because the computer upstairs stopped recording audio. And so what we need to do, what I did, is, and I started asking questions. I first asked the question, uh, something like, why isn't my computer recording audio or how to fix my audio issues with my computer? I'm asking very basic questions because I don't know the solution. These are people at the very top here. They have a problem, but they don't know the solution. They have a problem. They don't know the solution. And so you're going to create content to solve that problem. For example, they might be asking questions about how to make better YouTube videos. And one of the best ways to make better YouTube videos is with better audio. And so once you understand that, we can actually make some return on investment. So people are asking who, what, when, where, why, and how. Very basic, very general questions because they don't know the solution, okay? And we can create content here, how to make better YouTube videos. Step one, get better lighting. Step two, get a better camera. Step three, get a better microphone. These all work out very well. So that is the very top of the funnel. Now, three things happen whenever we create content. One, they're going to ask more questions, so they're looking for more information. Two, they go down here and they make a purchase based on the information that they have. Or three, 
they opt out. So they realize that the problem that they had wasn't as important as they thought it was initially. So at the very top, as I mentioned, who, what, when, where, why, and how. I typed in how to buy a Mac Studio. It's a, it's a desktop computer. I typed in how to buy or where to buy um, or how much is a Mac Studio. These are all questions that people are asking when they don't know the, the solution. The next thing that people are asking is X4Y. Best X4Y. Best X4Y, as you can see, people are asking questions because they, they now know the problem and now they're searching for a solution. For example, people are looking for best microphones for YouTubers or best wireless microphones for YouTubers, best cameras for um, photographers, best gaming chair for gamers. And people are asking, let's see, hi, Alston, do you have any tutorial on building an audience on Twitter? Um, the videos that I have on Twitter are about someone created, a, a bunch of people actually created bots for the PlayStation 5. And this is one of my favorite ways that people are making money online is what they did is they went out and they created bots for the PlayStation 5. These bots go out and check Meyer and Walmart and Amazon when new stock is available. When new stock is available, they'll actually tweet out a link, their affiliate link. They'll tweet out their link and people will rush to it. And then they earn a, a return on their investment or a commission. But do I, I don't have, I haven't done a Twitter video in a while, but, but thanks for asking. Hey, OP, Multiplier and Co-op Games, you need to watch this because this is going to help you. Um, and, and thanks for, for checking, checking it out. Um, <clears throat> where was that? Oh, best X4Y. Let's use the, the video games. So best gaming chair, best, best desk for gamers, best wireless mouse, best headset. I've got a headset upstairs, best headset for PlayStation five. People are asking these questions all day and every day, and you can create content to answer those questions and you can start seeing a return on investment. And so what you're going to do, you, again, you can do this for anything. You can do like best streaming device for old people or seniors, whatever they, they like to be called. Um, best indoor security camera for beginners or for infants, you know, people with babies. You can create this type of content, get in front of a highly targeted group of people. After the best X4Y, now again, people are starting to understand their problem and solution. People are looking for best X under Y. So at this point, people are asking, they, they had their mind pretty well made up, but they wanted to fit their budget. For example, people are looking up the best gaming chairs under $1,000. I'm going to jump right over to YouTube real quick, and I'm going to type this in. Best um, gaming chair under, okay. So what we have here is we have best gaming chair under 200, 100, 300, 10,000, 150, 5,000. So people are going to YouTube and they want to know the best gaming chairs under a dollar figure. They realize that the gaming chair is their uh, solution to their problems and they want it to fit their budget. Which website do you recommend to see what people search? What are the most search keywords? So I would recommend um, I, I would recommend using Ahrefs. It's a paid tool. If you can't use Ahrefs, use Answer the Public. Uh, so another question coming in, and thank you for the questions, guys. If you have questions, pop them in down below. Um, I used to have this small channel for game guides. It worked for a couple of bucks per month. It was fun, but I am not into it anymore and haven't uploaded since. No, no problem. Um, I wanted to try Twitter as it would require wouldn't require as much effort as making videos. Twitter might actually require more effort because you have to constantly be on there and answering and asking questions. Um, one of the tutorials that I saw actually, I think I liked a lot was by Builderpreneur. Um, he was he was going on Twitter and searching where to buy, for example, and then he would look through and answer those questions. Like people are asking where to buy a PlayStation 5. You would go grab the affiliate link to Walmart and say, you can go here to buy a PlayStation 5. That might require you to do more work. The benefit of creating videos is you create a video and that video is working for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you're going to manually answer questions on Twitter, you can only see a return on your investment for the most part when you're answering questions and the shelf life for a tweet is like 15 minutes. However, the shelf life on a YouTube video is years in some cases. So, but I mean, ultimately it, it depends on you. If you feel more comfortable doing that, go with that. <clears throat> anyway, um, best X under Y. This is a very strong 
way to start generating a return on investment simply because these people know the problem. They know the solution. They just want it to fit their budget. How many times have you searched best X under Y? Best stand mixer under $200. Best camera. This is a big one. Best camera under under $600. Cameras are really, really popular. So you can do that and you can start seeing a return on investment. Guys, if this is making sense for you, go ahead and give me a few likes. <clears throat> Subscribe to the channel. Follow, do all of that good stuff because this is designed to help you see a return on your investment. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Best, after we do best X under Y, um, I started IG profile, created TikTok, also uploaded videos, but I didn't get, um, but I uh, thank you, OP Multiplayer and Co-op Games. He says that I am, I am great. I appreciate that. Um, but I can't get audience in it. I don't know how and where to find people to follow me. Uh, we would have to take a look at your account. Uh, that involves a little bit more uh, than what I can provide to you on this live stream. Anyway, if we continue on, the next step here, and again, people understand the problem and the solution. They just want to make sure that what they're buying is right for them. So they're going to YouTube and TikTok and, and a blog, and they're typing in, X versus Y. So they're typing in, um, for example, they're typing in, uh, what was it? They're typing in Rode Wireless Go 2 versus, okay? And you can verify all of this for yourself. If you, after this video, of course, go over to YouTube. You can even do this on TikTok. You can type in um, Rode Wireless Go 2 versus, versus like this. And you can see um, DJI Mike. Uh, they also have versus road wireless go so the original version uh holland lark 150 and you can create content comparing the two now the biggest pushback and question that i always get when i talk about versus and review is do you have to have the product the answer is no if you're willing to do the research you don't need to have the product another question that i get all the time is um well how do i do a comparison or a versus or a review if I don't have the product, what you're going to do is you're going to go out to um, a website like Amazon and you're going to read what the product does. You're going to compare the two. Um, you're also going to take a look at customer reviews and see what they're saying. Look at the good and the bad of each of the customer reviews. And then you can put together a comprehensive uh, comparison video that actually helps solve someone's problem. It's really as easy as that. And then the bottom of the funnel here, the um, smallest part here are review. Now, with review, they're usually a little bit more competitive because most people understand and realize that this is the bottom of the funnel. People are ready to buy. They understand the problem. They understand the solution. They're just looking for someone to confirm what they believe, what their suspicions are. And so you can create a review video. For example, Rode Wireless, to, Rode Wireless Go to Review. Is it worth the money? Or is it worth your time? Is it overrated? You create a review video and answer those questions. Now, here's the key to creating a good review video. Talk about the good and talk about the bad. Most people realize that review videos are no longer just review videos. They're basically marketing videos. So you're going to talk about the good, the bad, and what customers are saying. But when you talk about the bad, that's your opportunity to offer in a bonus of some sort to increase your um, connection with your target audience. For example, let's say, uh, where'd it go? Let's say that this Rode Wireless 2 here, one of the cons is that there's no charging station. And in order to charge this, you have to take this out or you have to pull this off and connect it. But what you could do, let's say you had some skill, you could actually set it up so that it charges wirelessly or tell them how to charge it wirelessly or how to create something that you could create a charging dock right here. That's how you strengthen your review videos, offer a bonus that actually turns a, a negative or a weakness into a positive. So just to recap real quick, what you're going to do here, if you're looking at my perfect drawing, everyone here starts off here. Everybody starts off here. They are happy. They're excited. They have no issues. Then once something happens, they move down a step. They move to who, what, when, where, why and how. They're asking very basic questions because they know they have a problem. They want to create better YouTube videos. The audio is not very good. We're going to decline that. Um, the audio is, is not very good and they want to improve so that they can get more viewers. One key thing with marketing is you have to understand what the customer really wants. Oftentimes, the customer is going to tell you what they want 
but what they need is something completely different. For example, people will say, I want this Rode wireless microphone. Okay, why do you want it? So I can make better videos. Okay, why do you want to make better videos? So I can make more money with my YouTube video. That's usually the key there. Or so so I can is that, that little magic phrase. Um, so I can get more viewers to make more money or to, you know, have get the silver play button. If you can get to the so I can aspect of marketing, you can generate a buyer. So what I could do here is uh, we're talking about technology today is I, I could create a content and say, hey, I'm going to show you how to generate um uh, how to start earning a passive income in the technology niche so you can retire your boss or fire your boss or quit your nine to five. If you can link a so you can in your conversations and in your discussion, you can generate someone that is going to um, help you receive a return on investment. Guys, let me know if that makes sense. Always think about the so you can phrase. And you can even apply that to your daily life. You want to go for a run so that you can lose weight so you can live longer or be fit or, you know, play basketball, whatever it may be. Try to get to that so you can when it comes to marketing and you'll be uh, successful. Thank you, OP Multiplayer and Co-op Games. Appreciate, uh, appreciate you checking in. While I have you guys, don't forget to check out my website, alstingodbolt.com forward slash live, where you can earn a 50% discount while this live stream is running. Um, as I mentioned a few different times, every piece of content that I create is designed to fully answer your question um, and solve your problem. However, people elect and opt to work with me cl more closely because they need help with the implementation. That's usually where people fall apart is with the implementation and with that 50% discount, you can get the help that you need with the implementation. If you go to alstingodbolt.com forward slash live. Um, in fact, one of the videos that I'm, I'm most proud of is showing people how to receive or see a return on investment on the Bluehost affiliate program. And there are comments in there that say, Hey, I followed your advice step-by-step step and I received a commission. I earned a commission. So um, again, everything that I do, for free is to help you um, solve a problem, answer a question, but oftentimes people elect to work closely with me for the implementation aspect of it. And everything's in one place. I keep spilling on myself. Um, everything's in one place. 11 courses, I believe, uh, get to speak to me directly weekly or every few weeks to have your questions answered. But yeah, so this is it, guys. What I recommend that you do is create multiple pieces of content at least per week. If you can, if you're on TikTok, create multiple pieces of content per day. If you're on YouTube, do three, four, um, five videos per week. If you are doing a blog, try and get as many blog posts up per day as possible, and you will start seeing a return on your investment. You could watch this entire live stream and build a successful online business step by step. Um, it may require you to go through this one or two more times because I talk fast, but you could be successful with this. Do you guys have any questions for me other than why do I keep spilling on myself? Um, this is a raccoon behind me and this is an owl behind me. Those are the common questions that I get. Yes, that is a blue jay behind me and a cardinal. How did you get started with online marketing? Um, that's a good question. I, I really got started because we had twins and I needed to make more money. Did you fire your boss? Yes, this is what I do all day. And not all day. I do this for a few hours per day and then I take a nap. Um, and then I go pick up my kids or play with my kids. But we we had twins and I needed to figure out a way to 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 make more money without you know working a second and third job. And so I started looking for different ways to make money. And I did the typical thing that everybody else does. Everybody first, they go look at, they see the video on how to make X number of dollars doing online surveys. I tried that. It didn't work. I probably made $20 doing that. And then I tried doing the um, watch YouTube ads. That's why I don't create those con those pieces of content because I know they don't work. I've gone through all of that. Um, so I, I went through that thing, you know, and then as you keep going back to YouTube, you start jumping further and further down this rabbit hole. And I stumbled across a, a big YouTuber. He said, hey, look, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go apply to the Bluehost affiliate program and you're going to get your link and then you're going to go over to Quora. 
and you're going to answer questions on Quora and you're going to put your affiliate link in Quora. I did exactly that. And I actually got two nasty grams or warning letters saying that you're in violation of Quora's terms and services, terms and conditions. And however, uh, um, hey, Shannon, Shannon. Hey, uh, my mom keeps calling. Can you call her? Yeah. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I, I had, uh, I, sorry about that. Um, lost connection. Anyway, I should be back. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, so I, I did that. I went over to Quora, answered a couple questions and I actually just uploaded a video about Quora earlier today on my YouTube channel. I got two nasty letters saying, Hey, look, you're in violation of, of Quora, Quora's terms of services. You get another one. You're going to be kicked off the platform. However, by the time that I got home later that day, I'd actually earned two commissions from Quora. So what the guy told me actually worked, but it was in violation of the terms of service. So that was my actual first commission with affiliate marketing, $130 from the Bluehost affiliate program. That was about mm, maybe four or five years ago at this point. Um, the next thing was I actually start a blog, the securitycameraguy.com. It's still up today. It still earns me um, commissions. And I still receive a return on investment from that, even though I haven't written a blog post in over two years on that site. And so my first commission with, with that in Amazon was 67 cents. Um, someone clicked on my affiliate link and bought one of these little security cameras, not this exact camera, but um, one of something like that. And my first commission from Amazon was 67 cents. Now people will scoff at that and say, ha ha, I got banned many times trying to make money online with that is inspiring unless you fully rely on online marketing now. Yes, I I receive a return on investment you selling digital products. So like um, stuff on Etsy, selling my own digital products, um, affiliate marketing, YouTube. Um, and I think that's it. I, I don't I don't work for anybody else. Um, I, I don't work for anyone else. And I spend uh, most of my day not working as hard as I should, I guess I should say. Um, anyway, 67 cents was my first commission, but that was proof of concept. To me, I, I people would laugh and scoff at, hey, you only made 67 cents. But to me, that was proof that if I can make 67 cents online, I can make as much money as I want. I just have to learn how to replicate that. And for me at that time, replicating it was with blog posts. Uh, since then, I've added like five or six more blogs in different niches. Um, I have five or six different YouTube channels. I'm on TikTok and Reddit and Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter and, you know, all of these other places. But yeah, this is this is it. And this is all the work that I'm going to do today. I'm going to do this video is going about 52 minutes. Um, after this, I'm probably going to probably take a nap and then uh, we'll see where the chips fall from there. That is really good, man. My target is only to get uh, this thing is in the way. Let me see here. Um, just so you know, I'm not talking to myself. TikTok, I'm having comments are popping up over on on YouTube. Let's see if we can find it. All right, so here we go. Um, OP Multiplier says, that's really good, man. man. My target is only to get a bit of money more to get a car, nothing else. Should be fairly easy to do. I mean, it's not easy, but it worked in the past for rounding up a bit more money. Yes, the thing with um, generating income online is the process is simple. The execution is not easy because all of this that I told you is, is real simple. You can go out and do this for yourself. It's the execution. It's the showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it to get some work done, to move 1% forward, to get, to do that YouTube video when you don't really feel like it, to write that blog post when you don't really feel like it. And to write that blog post or YouTube video when you aren't seeing a direct connection to a return on investment. Now, what I mean by that is when you go to work and you work for eight hours, you know that you're going to be paid for those eight hours. You know that at the end of two weeks or one week, you're going to receive a check for the time that you spent. When you create content online, unless you're selling your own digital product, you may not see a return on your investment. You may go out and create 20 TikTok videos or 20 YouTube videos and nothing may come of it. When that happens, you are going to need some internal motivation for you to keep creating content. If you don't, you're going to you're going to quit because you're going to say it's not worth it. That's the hardest part 
about generating income online. It's not this other stuff. It's not affiliate marketing. It's not drop shipping. It's not any of the other things that out uh, that are out there because most of them do work. It's showing up when you're not seeing a direct result. And once you can get over that hurdle, that mental roadblock, you can be successful. It may take you longer than you expected, but you can be successful. That's that's where most people fail. They, they say, okay, I did one hour of work. I should see um, X amount of dollars. But sometimes, you know, you might work for six months. Like my YouTube channel, I worked a long time. Uh, when I first got started with my blog, I probably... I wrote over 50 to 75 blog posts before I saw my first commission. Um, With TikTok, that is actually accelerated. You can work for 30 days on TikTok and see an immediate result. You can actually see a result faster. But, you know, when I got into it, things were much different. Uh, So as you are trying lots of different channels, in your opinion, which one is the fastest channel for return on investment? Right now, depending on the content that you create, it's TikTok. With TikTok, you could realistically see a return on investment within 30 days, okay? And 30 days is being conservative, but are you willing to put in four videos per day? Are you willing to deal with no one viewing your content for the first week or two? Most people will see that nothing is happening or, or perceive that nothing is happening and they're going to quit. That's why that's why most people fail at whatever it is that they're doing. They don't get the immediate result and they've also set unrealistic expectations. One of the problems with, with TikTok is we're seeing all these videos how you can make um, 50, 60, 70, 80K in 90 days. That's un, that's not fair to you. That's not fair to you from the simple fact that if you've never made a dime online, if you're brand new to marketing and you don't even know what you don't know, you don't know the skills that you need or the skills that you should have, setting yourself up for failure to make 20k in the next six months that's just not fair that's not right and i i and and you should absolutely that should not be your goal i teach people that i work with that your goal should be to get 10 people on your mailing list because that shows you that you're making progress to get your first comment to get your first subscriber to get your first negative comment that is real progress and that's those are things that you can build off of it's hard to build off of I, i'm gonna make the, i'm gonna make 10k in 30 days and then 15 days in, you haven't earned a commission or made a sale, you're going to give up. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to say it doesn't work. What you should do is set realistic goals and trick yourself into finding success. Getting 10 leads in in the next two weeks is not an impossible goal. What may happen is that you might actually work wake up with 20 leads, right? You could get 20 leads in one day. And so when you start tricking yourself into the success, you can, that'll give you the energy to keep pushing forward. Uh, so speaking about realistic expectations, what do you think is realistic to make on TikTok nowadays in 30 days? Can't tell you. Um, it really all depends. If you're promoting, let's say you're promoting something on Amazon. Let, let's say you're, you're promoting Bluehost, because I like to talk about Bluehost. Um, let's say you're, you're promoting on Bluehost. You create content on Bluehost. Could you have your first sale in 30 days? Yes, that's very possible and probable. Um, could you have, what's the best way to present your links on TikTok? What worked for me was before, uh, and this is, I'm, I'm old school back in the day, about two years ago, you couldn't, you didn't have an, the option to put your link in your bio on TikTok. So what I did is I actually put my URL at the bottom of all my videos. I would say, go to alstingodbolt.com. And I would, uh, I would paste that to the bottom of all my videos. And so what happens is when people swipe up, the last thing they see is my URL. And my name is unique, so they would want to check that out. Um, but the question was, so speaking about realistic expectations, what do you think is realistic to make on TikTok nowadays in 30 days? Could you earn your first commission in 30 days? Yes. How many commissions can you earn? I, I don't know. I, I can't answer that question because it really depends on your work ethic, how many um, uploads you're doing, the products that you're creating, is there a need or demand for that product, um, who you're speaking to, what you're talking about. Should you be able to earn a commission in 30 days? Probably. Unless you are completely doing everything wrong, then uh, for the most part, you should. Should. Strong should. Obviously, I'm not making any income claims. I'm not guaranteeing you would do anything. But yeah, I think that's a real strong possibility. 
um, grow with Marshall. Check out my TikTok profile. I do all of my videos the same way. I have my hook at the top and then I have a link to my landing page at the bottom. So when you swipe up, um, the, the last thing that they see is, is my website URL. And I was doing that back when we had, when, when you couldn't put links in and TikTok. A lot of people also will send people over to Instagram. You can put a link to Instagram. You can also do the same thing to YouTube. You could actually use YouTube as like a landing page. Just have one video and uh, on your channel, and then you can explain to them exactly what to do and, and what you're all about. But what, what worked for me was simply just putting alstongodbold.com forward slash start at the very bottom. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, grow with Marshall. I'll just call you Marshall. Uh, you're welcome, Marshall. Guys, do you have any other questions? Now, again, all of my content is designed to help you see a return on investment, okay? I do have this discount, alstongodbolt.com forward slash live. That is help with implementation. That's if you want additional training, if you wanted to go to Affiliate Marketing 201, if you wanted to know more about how to do keyword research on different platforms, like on forum sites, on um, on TikTok and Instagram and, and all those different places, that's designed for people that want more one-on-one -on -one assistance and help. Um, so definitely check that out if you are looking for more assistance. But if you watch this video over again, you have really everything that you need to build a successful business. Guys, do you have any other questions for me today? We have gone over the hour mark. I appreciate all of the comments. Everybody stopping by. I appreciate it. It really helps make this a better live stream because I can answer questions and I'm not just talking at you and I can provide better information. If you guys have questions, definitely let me know. Um, if not, go ahead and go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash live if you want to work with me more exclusively <clears throat> and you have more uh, pertinent questions that are about your business. Um, but yeah, so really you have all the tools to be successful if you wanted to. Go ahead and watch the, the replay. Watch it at 1x speed or you know one and a half, whatever, just to help you understand what to do. I am going live for 365 consecutive days. I'm supposed to be streaming live on TikTok for 365 consecutive days. Um, I also figured I would throw in all of those other platforms as well, just because it makes it seamless and it's actually being recorded. So yeah, that's really all I have for you today. Thanks a lot for the replies, really helpful. You're welcome, multiplayer. Um, check me out tomorrow. I'm going to be on some time. Once again, answering your questions. You guys have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow.